Oh, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, y'all? This is too real. Sports we keep it way too real. Unapologetic, unscripted, and uncensored all the way up in here. We black mother. Like, 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 like. Oh, my fault. I was. Ooh, my, I mean, a murder. You got one of the boys to this soul. You got, why, like, why you gotta say that? I don't, know, I don't know. I have that one clue. But I see. Everybody see that shit. That in the, like a post, like you gonna get. Yeah, I don't I know. I figured it gotta be something real. I was just coming. I didn't know if it was a. I was, I was trying, trying to cut my tracks just in my case. Boy, I was about to give us a 90s rap <laughs> intro. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I was, I was ready to do You probably <laughs> saved me from doing a lot of cursing. <laughs> you know, like, you know, we black, boy. Oh, <laughs> 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 we riding on it. My fault. Let's go. Ah, it feels good, yo. Yeah, for real, man. It feels good to be back, man. It feels good to be back up ahead, my brother. For real, man. Pandemic. Long time. Pandemic. I mean, my personal reason for not shooting during the pandemic and no sports because I just felt like I didn't want to over talk the same way. You know, all yeah. the only thing people uh-huh. talked about was uh, political things. And that's fine. You have the right. But after a while, it's like too much. Yeah. You can't do but so much you can get into that. I don't get to exactly. It's been dragged down to another yeah. top five list. I've been doing top five. <laughs> yeah. 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 Top fives, man. yeah. So, but we here. Yeah. We back. Yes, sir. We back. We great. We got uh, we on new set, new set, own set, uh huh, uh, all the same umbrella, I should say. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? We got legends in the building. Uh-huh. Can't do nothing without Michael Jordan. Can't put, can't do nothing without Michael Jordan. No, sure. Look at the, I don't know if they can see this five, but imagine this five like coming to the playground. You would think you would like destroy them. They will cut your ass so bad. Chris Mullen, New York. Especially going for smaller shorts, man. <laughs> John Stockton be out there getting busy on everybody. Man. John Stockton come to the court, you think like, oh, I'm about to have a triple double on the <laughs> one of the Ice Cube's good day type of games on him. You think you got his ass cut at 55th? John Stockton? Yeah. Hell no. John Stockton would have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> John Stockton would have fucking killed him at 55th, oh, man. man. Josh Stockton is one of the, the baby goats. I wonder, like, you, you see any footage of like anything about Chris Mullen playing 55th? I, I never heard of anything about that. I feel like, I don't know, now maybe I'm making something up in my head. The great thing about what we have now in our new set is we can do whatever we want when we want. So I'll look that up. But while we do that, let's get right into some sports. And now sports is back. Yeah. Sports is back. And Demi is over, but the same thing. Demi play your piece still here. Matter of fact, before we even get to... <laughs> oh man! Before we get the playoff P, before we get to that, before we even get to the to the what's going on with the sports, how do you even feel about the no fans and watching it and all that like that? I mean, at first I didn't know what to expect. I thought like what the product was gonna be like on the field, the court, etc. But like, I, I'm shit. Probably look a one to me. Like when the first, when the bubble first came back on, I was glued. Mm-hmm. Like I was glued. It was, it was, I'm not sure if it was because it, it's it was back or because it was it was, it was a combination of both though. Like it was, it was a lot of good games, but I didn't know what to expect. And I didn't know what to expect from the, as far as the players and all that. Mm-hmm. And with basketball, I mean, nothing crazy happened. Nothing too crazy has happened. Mm-hmm. And as far as the NFL goes, like I, I gotta see. I, I got I gotta see. But it felt different dynamics though because there was no all season. All these rookies in there that's supposed to be in here starting to come in and help these teams and none, none of that stuff. No like mm-hmm. no 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 train um no preseason game, none mm-hmm. of that stuff. So it, it's a real different dynamic. And not to get into football, but I think the teams, the veteran coaches and the teams that got the most p- people coming back from the same roster is gonna like be the teams that um get out to a fast start. That is true. That is very true. I seen something with Chris Mullen and Rocker, so I think he played. He had to. He had to. He had to, because yeah, he's a New York legend, so he yeah. had to. Yeah, now I ask because, like, for me, it's, it's different with the different sports, right? Basketball, it only took a day, and it was fine. Like, I don't even really notice it. It's funny when, like, you see, like, a player hit a big shot, and then for, like, a half a second, they turn around and do that, like, <laughs> sidestep and want to talk, and then they're, oh, yeah, ain't nobody Nobody did it, yo. All right. Uh, baseball, I just can't watch. Yeah, it, it's tough. I it tried. Tough, I tried, and uh, Judge hit a home run. And I didn't realize he hit a home run until he was rounding third. Like, it didn't click. Like, oh, shit, he hit a home run. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just like, oh, 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 they played a game. My fault. All right, yeah, home run. So I, I, I totally tuned out on baseball. I ain't going to lie. Football, I'm kidding. We had the game yesterday, so we got a, a, a slight. And they did minimal fans, but it didn't really seem like it mattered too much. I don't know how it's going to matter with football players' performance. 
just because you know when you car crashing, mm -hmm. you need little things like that crowd in the yeah, fourth quarter and all anything. that to pull yep. through. Yeah. So I wonder how that's gonna work out. But yeah, all right, let's get to the playoffs, right? <laughs> <laughs> What you said, pandemic playoff. Pandemic playoff. <laughs> like, I don't care. He's had like he's kind of like he had a couple of good games last mm -hmm. well, night. I don't know, but like he's kind of like running the ship as of like currently. But mm -hmm. it's still the same thing at the end of the day with him, man. And then he's like he's mm -hmm. he's untrustworthy. He's, he's nervous. And to me, yo, we all know the Lakers and the Clippers is on. Like, I, Chutes is not coming back. Um, the Clippers about to end it tonight. Yeah, so we all. Paul George has to be the second best player That's on that team. Lakers and the Clippers. Like it can't be, oh, Paul George played good and then Lou Will the second best. No, 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 no. It has to be Paul George because all the mismatches he's gonna have with all these bums guarding him, unless LeBron's guarding him the whole series. Oh, but LeBron's yeah. been so who's gonna have all the wild. Bums. I mean, the Lakers. I wouldn't say Lakers got bums. No, the Lakers have bums. The Lakers have Colwell Pope. The Lakers have Danny uh, Green. Pope, the Lakers uh, have Caruso, uh, who had a good game last night. But like, that's his first good game in the playoffs, and that's game eleven. <laughs> so you keep, you keep on depending on that if you want to. Rondo's pissing me off though. Rondo, man. Rondo. Ooh. Rond Even though I'm not saying playoff Rondo. I'm not making that a thing. Nah, see, I, I, I'm, all, no. I'm all in on playoff Rondo. I'm, I'm, I'm all in on playoff Rondo. Playoff Rondo striking again, I'm man. I'm not playing playoff Rondo and thing, man. But with Paul George, if we get to playoff P, preferably, because it's two different people. So if we talk about playoff P, I've gotten to a point with him where I have little, I like, I expect him to stink it up like that that's that's at the point where i'm at with him i expect him to stink it up crazy thing about the clippers is they so good they can still win you know what i'm like mm -hmm. lou will is so good even though he hasn't been at yeah, pretty much the whole yeah, bubble yeah, he, showing up, he yeah. really hasn't if we keeping it a hundred but lou will could be him and trez could be so good that it really doesn't matter with paul george he could just have if, if we play in a seven game series if he give you three three good games but I don't have no high man. expectation for Paul George. It just is what it is for me. I've seen enough. Paul George, James Harden, and Anthony Davis. Now, James Harden still hasn't moved the needle for me. I still, as a superstar in the playoffs, is terrible. Anthony Davis, the verdict is still out. The verdict, you got LeBron James. And I believe LeBron James creates for Anthony Davis. He can, LeBron James is so good, he could dictate whatever he wants. If LeBron James want to go, I want, uh, I, I can't even say Danny Green, because Danny Green acts like he don't know how to shoot no more. But let's let's say an old version of Danny Green. If LeBron want to go, I want to come out today and have Danny Green hit six threes and we win the game. He could do that. Yeah. Like, he could do whatever he wants. So I think AD's success in these rounds, not fully, I don't want to give, I don't want to do that to AD and be like, only reason why you had good games cut LeBron, yeah, yeah. but I think LeBron dictates a lot of that. Absolutely. Now that 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 the, that's the clash we want, the clash of LA. And we gonna get it though. We, we definitely gonna get it. That's the clash and, 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 we want. And I can't front like I've been. You know me like I, we like we've been on for a while, but you know we still in the group chats. All I do is shit on the Lakers defense. All I've been doing is shit on their perimeter defense. Mm -hmm. But they have been proving me wrong. Every step of the way so far this year. Yeah, they just lock up. They, 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 they playing phenomenal D. And they then, like, not up. only that, they playing it's consistently. Mm -hmm. the, the only thing with the Clippers, though, man, it's like, hey, man, we're going to do this show. We're going to show up when we need to and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think, but still, I think at their peak, they, they, their team defense is better than the um, Lakers defense. But I can't front. The Lakers have been playing great defense. Uh -huh. But, however, you know me, it's still a bubble that bum ass yeah. perimeter defense. I'm still riding on that. Houston, we all know they living and dying with that three. They living and dying with that three, and they and that's all and that's all they've been doing. Lakers been sitting there guarding the three point. Do you think Houston being like the locker room, like, yo, um, all right, so we gonna do is no open threes, no open threes, all contested threes. All right, <laughs> that's what that should look like. like you man. hit an open three, it don't count. <laughs> like. That and James Harden with the uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't think I've seen him do this and shoot a three and it go down in forever. <laughs> like, at some point, you guys, it's you're not, not that. Yeah, see, no. I think a lot of the players get it messed up with Kobe, right? You got to realize when Kobe was kind of making different challenges for himself, like, I'm going to take the hardest shot I can, 
he had three championships already. <laughs> like it's he had to find a new brand. Yeah, brand new yeah let's do yeah. something else. Like you know what I'm Dick's saying? Hunter, you still got to get to that. Fuck, you just got to get over that. You got to get over the league before you start wanting to <laughs> take the top shot. shot. You see these dumbass new creative step backs? It's like, come on. Bro. It no, don't man. go in enough for him to do at it. All. At it, all, it doesn't. It, it, it looks not. nice when it goes in. But it doesn't go in enough for him to do it. Even Russell Westbrook got to be critical of him. He's at his best when he realized his game. Like, let me just make these cuts and mm -hmm. get these dives and all. Nah, he what he called up in the hype, pulling all these jump shots out of nowhere, man. And, and, and that's yeah. another thing. A credit to the Lakers, though, because Lakers play inside that three point one. They're not sitting mm -hmm. there getting caught up in no bullshit. They mm -hmm. sitting there sticking to the, what they do. Mm -hmm. And with, with today's day age of basketball, Number one team in the West Coast. They're about to be in the conference finals, mm -hmm. and they sit here not jacking up a bunch of threes, having a ninety-three point contest. But they out there playing ball, man. That's what happened when you have LeBron yeah, James. Facts, he had, yeah, they got an all-time great for play on that team. So you got, you got, got James Harden. I mean, <laughs> if you you know, it's, it's everything is always by lead by example, right? That's the first way of leadership. So you know, I think sometimes watching the Rockets, it look like. Shh, I gotta get a shot up. Like, I, if I swing this, I don't know if I'm getting a shot up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got the ball, let me get a shot up, because they all shoot like that. Mm -hmm. They all, it's like, it's crazy. Them, all of them. But it starts from Harden. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if I'm getting this back. That shit go down to James Harden all the way to the Austin Rivers, yo. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. It's like, I don't know what I, so they it look like they don't trust each other at all to swing the ball. So it's like, that, man. I mean, and then, you know, we got to the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you play eight yeah, players, now you got seven players. Uh -huh. Yeah, Houston, you know they gonna need like I understand Eddie. Uh, I'm Eddie House. I keep doing that. Yeah, I, I know Eddie, Eddie House. House. They, that's <laughs> Eddie House. He's a role player. You know what I'm saying? He's like probably what the third, fourth, maybe fourth best player on the team. He's a role player, but. In order for the Houston Rockets to beat the Lakers, they gotta need every single body, everybody I mean, like, down, like everybody in their rotation to contribute to what they fought. Yeah. And for him to not be there, he played both sides of the ball. He did hit threes when he, um, he was open. That was yeah, huge blow for him. Yeah, they can't miss nothing. Yeah, you so, play eight people, you can't miss nothing. That's you know what I'm saying? You can't. So, it, 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 but again, realistically, that's what it's supposed to be. Lakers, Clippers. I do think, because uh, I heard you say, uh, I think, uh, you think Clippers team defense. I think Lakers team defense better. He did a team defense, bro. I think Clippers' individual defense is better, but that's their problem. It's like when I want to do it, when I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you said that. Now, I never asked you this question. Throughout the whole regular season, mm -hmm. when the Clippers played the Lakers, have you ever sat there and said, yo, come on, what are y'all waiting for? It's go time. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. You said it already during the whole except, Magic series. I, I, like, except for maybe that bubble game, just because I think Lou and Trez are. Yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah. They, it was still competitive, though. Yeah, yeah, it was still competitive, yeah. We said it all throughout the Mavericks series. We said it, um, we've been saying it, um, even when they up 3 one, we've still been saying it throughout the series. Mm -hmm. Even the whole Lakers Nation, the whole, the whole Braun Hop, they have not said anything about the Clippers being not engaged with Lakers. Mm -hmm. This is not happening. They are, this is what they've been waiting for. They're they gonna fuck around, beat the Lakers, and, and, and lose the championship. They are hunting, <laughs> they are hunting the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. They're about to get them, and all that disengaged shit, all that, oh, we're not, nah, it's, it's not happening. I don't see that happening at all in the next season. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't trust it, man. I just I just can't believe you could turn you could just turn it off and on. It just you gonna get caught slipping at some point. Just like for any, I just think the Clippers got too much things going on. They got to turn it off and on. Then you got the 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 attitudes, right? Ah, right, you know, we all love the tough, you gotta have the tough guy, that's cool. I don't know if you could do a Morris and a Beverly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Beverly, you see, even though it looked like the Clippers were going to lose, I forgot which game it was. But him getting the two techs when we trying to at least, <laughs> I, you know, we don't know what could happen. Yeah. And you just going to just, it's like your worth is not big enough for that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, a star player could do something. It's like, all right, what are we going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Morris, who same thing. He's been ejected. So I don't know if you guys can bring it in. In the five, you know, in the Western Conference, right? When you're playing against the Lakers, yeah, uh -huh. this is a this is a well disciplined team from yeah, a standpoint exactly. of LeBron James. At this point of this career, you're not you're not you're not initially fucking LeBron. You're not gonna miss not at all. Not at all. So, it's, it's, not it's at all. For that, so. Not at all. You might get a look from LeBron. You uh -huh. might get one of these. Uh -huh. That's all. <laughs> and then if you get one of these, what what you gonna get next is an and one. And then he going all right. Yeah, relax. So you don't you don't. 
I don't know how that's... And then Kawhi, right? Now, as much as we love Kawhi, everybody's not a leader, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Every star is not a leader. Every best player on their team is not a leader. That, that's just how it is. So I don't know if Kawhi, his personality fit Toronto to me. They was just very happy to have him. They were, you know, you got Cal Lowry, who's kind of the leader, and Kyle Lowry sets the tone. We just love you. We just love you if you're here, if you're not. We don't care. We love you. We want to show you a good time. Yeah, Kyle Lowry, that's what he's doing right now, leaving Toronto right yeah, now. Yeah, Kyle sure. Lowry has, in, in like a two, three year stretch, we got to give Kyle Lowry his props. I can't that once he figured out how to win, yes. he figured out how to win. He's been looking. Yeah, he's he looking good. I'm the king shit on Kyle Lowry. I oh, yeah. Shit. I'm the king oh, shit on Kyle yeah. Lowry. Yeah, and, and it was well deserved at one point. You know, mm -hmm. they was flopping after flop after flop in the players. Like, they lost their powers from Space Jam mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> but um, I don't know if Kawhi's, I don't know if, if he has the leadership skills to bring them guys in against a well oiled machine like the Lakers. I don't think. LeBron James team. I don't think he has those intangibles to do it, like you know what I'm saying. But I think he has he'll he'll style of play and what he's gonna do in the court will sit there and, and he'll lead that way. He, he's gonna do it that way. Though. No, he will. He will. But sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta yell at somebody. <laughs> it's just how it go. Sometimes you gotta yell. Sometimes you gotta you know. Put, and I've seen him do it. I forgot who I seen him say it to when he was like, "I ain't passing the ball to do that shit." Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> so so I you know I I, I know it's still. A little something, but sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you know, right? So I, I'm not saying he don't have it. I'm just saying there's no resume of it to assume. Yeah, there's a resume of LeBron we know mm -hmm. when he could do leadership wise and getting his team ready. One little small nugget, if I'm just being a little tit for tat, which I understand because they're in a bubble. LeBron didn't go, what is it, zero dark 30? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't go zero dark 30. I don't know how that, how that he wins championships when he yeah, do that. He, he, when he goes zero dog thirty, down, though, no, like, no social media or anything for the playoffs. That's when he went chips. Right. He didn't do it this year, but they're in the bubble. You need kind of your yeah. He responded to Jay Wills and Richard Jefferson. Oh this my shit, gosh, but Jay Wills and Richard yeah. Jefferson. Yeah, Jay Wills and Richard Jefferson. Oh my god, I don't even want. Maybe I'm a discourse. We might as well. We here. <laughs> <laughs> J Jay Will and Richard Jefferson, and this is what we could do because it's ours now. Like we yeah. got our own set. Uh, we, we, the set gonna be crazy, but we could do we could we could ping pong however we want to ping pong. Sorry. But Jay, which, which you, you got? Any... <laughs> like I see, I like Richard Jefferson, so I ain't gonna be too hard on him. My fault to cut you off. Nah, you, gonna, can't, you can't say that. You can't say that, dude. You can't say no. That. You can't say, you can't say that. that. And we talking about when he called when he said his Giannis tweet about Giannis might be more pivotal, you know. He, he might need a Jordan. No, yeah. fam. Listen, and then, and then, and then, what made it worse? He doubled down with the um, with the with the meme after the, um, he loses the game. Oh yeah, that, game that was corny. That, that was wild corny. corny. You're, you're, you're clown, man. Yeah, that was wild corny. Yeah, the uh, the the uh, my homie from Final uh, Last Dance when he beat Jordan, the Joy Man on security. But yeah, that was it. This is it, it's a couple things. For one, why it's whack to me is like Scotty's a top fifty all time player, like. That ain't even to even say somebody gonna be Scotty is a major compliment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's so you can't in no form say somebody being Scotty Pippen is is a is a, a negative thing. Scotty Pippen got championships on the best team ever, and he was a large part of that. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? So no form of you saying that because you it came off in a negative way, like you trying to play him a little bit. It's like, yeah. Scotty's a great, if he if he do be Scotty, that's a great thing. That mm -hmm. means he got a dynasty, he got chips, all that. Second, it's like, wow, Michael Jordan, we only got one of those, right? And then, this is the problem with, with athlete commentators, right? Is you always get that feeling where it's like, that you wasn't that good to even mm -hmm. be saying that. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I know it on, you know, Athletes got the whole turnaround with the you didn't play, you don't understand. But it's like you are, it's hard to take certain criticism of great players like a, a Giannis who's 25, 25 years old. 25 years old. MVP on his way, getting better every year. And a Richard Jefferson who had a great career, but it's you wasn't nowhere near Giannis. So it's hard to take those criticisms from these that Chris Webb was like that for me, you know. Where sometimes watching the game, it's like Chris, like you being way too critical and you wasn't doing none of them moves, yo. Like, stop it. 
You wasn't doing nothing. No, I, I like Chris Paul. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. But he he could come at the. I don't want to say I dislike him. I like. No, I like I'm talking about his his commentary. That's what I'm yeah. gonna say. Yeah, yeah that's what he I'm could come at their game, but he can't come at their character. Cause Chris Paul needs to be doing doing yeah. little shit that all that. Oh, you got come on, you got to Suck it up, you gotta run. Nah, you used to be out there doing a little bit of shit too in your. You know what I don't understand ways. that about too? Since we on it, Chris Carter, the football player. He's very, very harsh on players. And I'm Mr. like, Chris po- Carter. <laughs> Mr. Point for himself. Do you not remember? <laughs> you had to get a second chance in the NFL. Uh, you remember why, my brother? <laughs> and it's not to put that light on you, but it's like, why you be so. you supposed to be on there to help people understand that people mm-hmm. make mistakes or whatever. But yeah, some I'm just saying I like I, I don't wanna say I dislike Chris Webber. I can't say I like him. I'd be lying if I said that too. I find it funny when I listen to him. But I'm just saying sometimes it's hard to hear certain players criticize and it's like, damn bro, but you wasn't even close to that. Like yeah, Reggie Miller do it with a great way. He's he's Yeah, all right. Reggie yeah, Miller's yeah, perfect. Yeah, that, that, was, that was great example. Reggie Miller's perfect. Mark Jackson, you know, he's perfect. Yeah, you know, there's definitely players who do it the right way, but certain yeah, players. Yeah, you got the like, Kenny Perkins of world. Oh my God! <laughs> you, you got dudes like that get on TV and just. The problem is, and it's like I understand it, but it's it's all of, to me. I don't know. It's easy, to, I guess, to say when you fuck, when you broke or something. But like, it's like your principles, right? It's like, what do you want to be, right? So, do you want to be so big that your people don't like you no more? Like, I don't ever want to be that big. Right. You know, I, I've had big aspirations and dreams for our company and everything like that. But I don't want to be so big that my people dislike me. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like Kendrick Perkins, like you're saying, Chick, Chick, well, oh my. I I, I just just want to be respectful. So I'm going to go with you. Richard Jeff, these players, it's like, you want, you so thirsty to get retweets or posts or whatever Mm -hmm. that you make it that Soon you're not gonna be able to go around your NBA peers. You see, KD don't be playing with none of them. None at all. <laughs> at all. That's what I love about KD. KD don't be playing with none of them. Soon you're not gonna be able to go around none of your NBA peers because y'all want to be so clownish and thirsty mm-hmm. just to get you know on TV and all that. And it's lame. Yeah. It's super lame. It's super lame. NFL here though. That's yes, not sir. lame. Yes, sir. NFL. It's crazy because I was like you said, no preseason, man, so I wasn't hyped. Yeah, it's not the same. Like, like the day before. Yeah, it, was, like, it wasn't the same. It got me. You keep it a bug. I, I, I caught the game in the second half. I, I totally forgot. I was all the way watching the game. All okay. watching the basketball game. I totally forgot, bro. I was too thirsty. I was too thirsty. I ain't get the basketball game. No more look. Once it hit eight twenty, I was too thirsty. But Andy Reid starts again, man. That oh, motherfucker know how to draft a motherfucker running back. Man. Yeah. I was wondering, is it like obviously it's the, it's the talent of the running back because he's a talented. But I'm like. You know, Andy Reid and them systems, man. Like, he's such a yeah, genius yeah. At, at the play call, and it's crazy. Yep. And Pat Mahomes, oh, my Lord. And, and I don't know if anybody realized, though, did he, how many yards he had? 211, I think. He had 211. Everybody used to, like, the 300s and the 400s from Pat Mahomes. He had 211 with um, three touchdowns. What do we what, Miss A? Eight out to eight, like 12 targets he missed. I think it was like 22 for 34. That's official football right there. If Pat Mahomes not sitting here gun picking and doing all this, their first job was like a 12 play job, 90 some yards. If they play football like that, he was throwing at like two point something seconds. I can't remember the exact, but it was like the Brady, Brady. And you can't do, you can't, as a DB, you can't defend that. Not at all. Not at all. There's so. no way of defending that. So he's slicing and dicing now. That, that's not good. That, that's not yeah. good, man. That's In the first half, he was, I remember he was 10 for 11. And the, the one was a drop. It was a touchdown drop that they had to review and bring it back. He is, that's scary. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, he's so young, he's got to get better. But yeah. it's like, how could he get better? Yeah. But then he's showing you he's getting better. Like You expect him when he gets older, when he starts losing that, his athleticism, when yeah. he'll start doing it. Nah, I mean, he's starting right now. And that's the that's the game. That's what Brady figured out. That's what Peyton Manning figured out. That you just, you, them short routes before the DBs can even think. You just think them, think them, think them, think them, think them. Yeah, and then you hit them with a boom and every then, now and then. And then the Texans, they didn't even look like they was ready, man. Oh, um, man. And unfortunately for Deshaun Watson, oh, man. you have a, he's a GM too, right? Oh, Bill Bryant? Yep, yep. Unfortunately. Yep. They, <laughs> did, they didn't fire him, they promoted him. <laughs> unfortunately, this is what you're going to have to deal with for at least the first six, seven, six, seven, eight years of your career because 
It doesn't like he's going anywhere any, any anytime soon. I would have refired him after he <laughs> traded D Hop. I would have knew like, yeah, oh, yeah. it's going. This this is not what we signed up for. We gotta fire you. Like I just signed him and just took the L and fired him. After. How do you? I mean, but it's the Texans' fault. He should have been fired. He got re, he got a promotion. He saved his job. And he you, he was saved his job, yo. How does your first thing you do? You take away who I think is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Agreed. That don't make sense. And then when you watch the first game, no weapons. They had no Nothing. weapons. No wit. So you had no plan. I mean, they got the was Braylon Cooks. Uh, they like yeah, signed him, yeah, but not, he's nothing, no D hop. Nothing. Not, he's not, not close to D hop. He's a, I hate to say a one trick pony. You know that sounds whack, but he's a he's, he's a one route guy. That sounds like yeah, you shit last night. You know what I'm saying? So how do you trade? I they, they picked up Kenny Stills. I'm sorry. I'm glad you got your money. <laughs> word, I'm glad word. you got your money because it you did yeah, you gonna just you gonna have to lean on that this whole season because it's gonna be some real tough times. A lot of losing. And then who who, who they on the deep end? The dude, the fat dude, always gets hurt. I can't oh, think. uh, I can't uh, think. uh, Fuller. Fuller. Well, Fuller, he, he did. Him. He's not doing, but you know, you already know he's not having a week seven. He's not a wide receiver. But regardless, he's the only. Oh yeah, he's the only bright spot in, 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 on the wide receivers. You get to week seven, you be <laughs> happy. And then you know, you know what's gonna happen about it? And then you left with Kenny Stills, and <laughs> it's gonna be bad, man. It's, yeah. it's gonna be bad. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I, I mean, the only thing is, Deshaun Watson, I got a lot of faith in him as a player. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if somehow he figured it out. Or another but, tennis. Yeah. He's got a 10 6 or some shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't count on it, though. But, like, like I said earlier, like, like we said earlier in the bubble, like, I'm not even, like, even trying to get into so heavy into football right now because, like, I really don't know what to expect. I really don't yeah. don't know what to expect besides the Cowboys losing on Sunday, yo. Yo, man. He said, yo, your homeboy Frederick, he, he retired, right? So that oh, means you yeah. got a new dude in the center, right? Mm -hmm. Is he a rookie or like I, I don't even know. Um, um dang, how did you say that? Who is starting that center? Is it Looney? It might be Joe Looney. Well, Looney's gonna have to go against Adam Dunn. Who is why do not know who's starting that center? It don't matter. We did draft somebody, but I want I think new. it's Joe Looney that's he's starting. He's new and he's going right into that. Now Joe Looney a vet, but he he he's solid. I was hoping he was a rookie though. Nah, Joe Looney a vet, he's solid. I'm trying to think where he was at before. He's been off back for like two years now, but he's solid. I like Joe Looney a lot. If he's I forgot, but we did I don't think we're starting rookie though, but I'm I'm pretty sure. The the problem is our uh, right tackle hurt too. He on IR. We just put him on I.O. Oh. Collins. Oh. You know, I, but uh, we got that. Like, I don't, like, we haven't had this premier, I keep telling you, we haven't had the premier O-line in years. You know what I'm saying? You've seen as a Giants fan when Dak went up against y'all with the backup O-line. They put my man out. Jason Garrett and them was trying to sabotage my man so much. They put him out there with the backup O-line. And... What do you do? Game went at the buzzer touchdown. Now, if it was regular dynamics, if it was regular things happening, but since it's the pandemic and then you got a new coach, is it a new system? Yeah. You got a new coach. Well, no, 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 no. Kellen's still in charge. Kellen's still, which they added stuff, but they said they let Kellen. So, but you implement new things. You got for the most part, it's Kellen's offense. The same. They said that they, Dak, specifically when uh, he first had his first conversation with, um, um, uh, why am I going, Mike McCarthy? He he told him, listen, one of the biggest things for quarterback is you know familiarity and knowing your playbook. He said I need Kellen, and so he said he since then That's he kept good. Kellen, and he said he's he's empowered Kellen, and he just added little things here and there because he's an offensive guy too. But for the most part, it's Kellen. Defense though, total new defense. Yeah, uh, see, I think that, see, and I think that secondary gonna get lit up, man. Total new defense. Secondary gonna get lit up. Unfortunately, McCoy's not there, so I don't know who's going to AEI defense. Sean Lee hurt already. Yo, that's amazing. Yeah, he wasn't going to play. Funny enough, he wasn't going to play it on your defense anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because we do a two linebacker. But just to have him out there for something out there, I mean, you know, Sean Lee is president, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, we'll get him around playoff time. Well, you know, it's not even second half. I think he got seven weeks or something like that. But he 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 wasn't going to play because we doing, oh, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I was, <laughs> <laughs> Not only because we're running a two linebacker set, you know, with Wolf Hunter and uh, my man Jalen, but you forgot who we signed, my brother. 
Yeah, I keep on He's a up. linebacker. We got Alden Smith back. And they saying he's looking crazy in camp. They said he's been he, looking he, crazy. He's eligible to play week one? Yeah, he's playing week one. Yes, he's playing week one. And but he's not a linebacker. Yeah, Randy Gregory is, I think, technically a linebacker too. He's coming back too. Yes. Week yeah. seventeen. Nah, he's good. He's good. My man good. He can't, he can't practice till October. He can't play till like week six. That's, that's, fine. So that's, that's fine. fine. We got enough. We got enough rush. We got enough rush. We got Alden Smith back. That's so that's another linebacker. You know what I'm saying? So he's not, he, he not gonna be on the line. He gonna have to be on the line. Gregory not there, especially on McCoy on out for you. Who? Um. Alvin Smith, he's gonna be on the line. Yeah, but that's how they do their linebacker set. If they do do a third linebacker, he on the line. He gonna be rushing. They want Jalen to rush a lot more too. Still got a move to do. Oh, so shit. it's perfect. I, I saw a stat. Uh, uh, Sean McVay is three and zero in season openers. I do respect his brain because you know he's one of those brains. If he get to prepare, yada yada yada. But when I do also see stats like that, I also know you gotta lose at some point, right? So it only makes sense. I actually. I don't wish it was fans because of COVID, obviously. But if everything was normal with the world, LA is a home game for us. You know what I'm saying? Normally, we take over that stadium. So that would have been a home game for us. You know what I'm saying? So that they lucky that, if anything, they get a little edge with no fans being there. They got a new stadium, too. It's beautiful. It's crazy. I think they spent like four point something billion dollars. Yeah, oh, 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 that's right. It's fine open. Yeah. Fucking open is no fans. My fault, P. How long we had this so I know? Uh, 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 yeah, 30. Okay, copy. Yeah. We're open to no fans? Yeah, that's I'm saying that's swag. As far as I saw it, it said, it didn't even say, because when I saw the Chiefs trying to say limited fans. Right. I saw that so, little. I don't want to but I didn't see. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to I think like four point something billion. I think it took like Four or five years to build it, mm-hmm. and yeah, you open it like wah, wah. Vegas too. That's right. I don't know right, how much yeah. they spent on Vegas. I don't know if they spent nothing crazy like that. But you know, Cowboys. Only thing, I mean, it don't matter. You gotta embrace it. I gotta say, you know, I, I hate when we like. I don't say hate, but and on our past, we've played better when we underdogs for a while. Now you know. Damn near everybody putting us in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. but you just gotta embrace that. You gotta embrace that. Pressure, pressure, pressure. You gotta oh ain't no pressure. Ain't no pressure. Matter of fact, since we talking pressure, we'll talk a little of uh Skip Bailey's comments and mental illness, because that gotta do with pressure. Then we're gonna talk about the Giants. That's what I just <laughs> we'll talk about the Giants a little bit. And then we'll talk about all right. Pressure, this is why, and I say why I put Skip Bailey's comments into this. This is why. Pressure, I'm not worried about with Dak Prescott, right? So we put at the time on his career. He started out his rookie year battling and following up a, a cowboy, a beloved cowboy, Tony Romo, right? So you got to kind of fill in those shoes, and then you make him, you play so good, you make him retire in some way. You know what I'm saying? He could have played somewhere else, but, you know, he got the TV money, yada, yada. It's only makes sense. But you play that, so that's pressure right there every day because they wanted they wanted you to do any little thing to take you out the game. They wanted Romo back. They, sure so they couldn't wait any little every week. Jerry and them like, oh, we ain't clearing no Romo. And you balling every week, and every week they still like, oh, well, when Romo clear, we'll evaluate it. You balling, mm-hmm. so they want so that's pressure right there. Boy. And even up to the playoffs, they were like, fuck around, you got a bad first half. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. whole time. And he did have a bad first half. Uh, the whole team did, but he did have a bad first half, and then everybody was close to saying it did. He showed his guts and scored 31 straight points, and then Crosby kicked the field goal, and it was over. But, damn, I don't even want to talk about that game. Like, they would have went to overtime. We would have won that, but it just happens for a reason, whatever. So, that's a lot of pressure, you know what I'm saying? Then, if we talk about Dak's contract situation, Dak's contract situation is something that a player I don't think has ever did. Where they fully, fully, usually when players do this, this uh, bet on yourself, you might hear it kind of year, contract year. They got one more year there. Mm-hmm. As a, he was literally a free agent. So if he stunk it up, he could have easily, they could have easily right, been like, yeah, we ain't giving you no money. Like, he, he had, had no money. Right there was himself. Well, was, you know what I'm yeah, so the player, because that was my whole reason why when we was, if you go back to the show, when I was saying Dak is going to sign, because I didn't think in my mind, nobody's not going to say no to whatever $100 million and go into the battlefield without that insurance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody does that in football. 
you take that money and you release whatever, yeah. whatever happens, you got that, you got the guarantee. So you're like, nah, I'm gonna play the whole year out until I get what I want. That's a lot of pressure. So we talk about Skip Bayless comments and Dak, you know, talking about uh, mental issue, mental depression that he was having during the pandemic, which I know a lot of people had, and his brother committing suicide. Uh, That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And so for uh, uh, Skip to that say that, corny, though. yeah, that yeah. Shit was dumb, man. Like get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, the question is leadership and say that it looks like a sign of weakness because football is so much cheese on sport. As if like the players are gonna go in the locker room now and be like, like oh come on, damn, we can't we can't depend on him. Yeah, you know? like, come on. Man. I know we seen you uh, come back, you know, sixteen career games in the fourth quarter and all that, but now, nah, because your brother died and you didn't. Like, what? That just sounds so... You know me. I can't <laughs> wait to uh, agree with a negative um, dag opinion. But that shit was all the way out of line, man. That that, that shit was all the way out of line. It, the, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say one last thing, and then you can say whatever you want about it, and then we get to the Giants. Uh, the scary part about it, and just the scary part about Skip Bayless to me is where he know you shouldn't say that. He know that's the he because he said it. He he gave us a little pre intro to I know people gonna be mad at me. I know I should and to still say it, mm -hmm. to still have the balls mm -hmm. to say it. And I feel like that about a lot of LeBron James criticism. You know, I was with him for a long period of time. I drank the Kool Aid as far as not just because of what he was saying, but because what we seeing. Now we felt the same way about. But then after a while, it gets to a point where it's like. I mean, damn, the man is great, though. Like, we do know he's great, right? We do know yeah, he is a sucks. champion. We do know he's done some amazing things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's first in playoff wins. That's not an accident. You know what I'm saying? You can't. I don't care how you cut your deck and make your super team. That's not an accident. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at some point, it's like. I can't even listen to a skip a drawing second. Nah, it's over. It's over. It's, it's over. over for that, man. It's over. So I just think it's kind of dangerous. I don't want to get too deep into it. But I think it's dangerous that he knows you shouldn't say that and still could be able to say it. And all I say about that, like, like, and then, like, I'm not going to call a man a liar. Like, so he really feel that way. But if something like that, you feel that way, you keep that shit to yourself. You don't come out on national TV and say no shit like that. I don't understand that shit that's your team, your child, your team, you blah, 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 and you, you want to see this. And I don't give a fuck with you. It don't matter what you want to see. It's about what his teammates, I bet his teammates didn't have no problem with, that, with, with him coming out and saying no shit like that. Not so, at all. No, I bet you, I bet you, he got so many calls after that. Facts. From teammates. Facts. They probably, like, from other teams, like, yo, bro. They probably told him like if you want to take some time out like to, to do that, but you like like I said back in a one a um a one intangibles, he's not doing no shit like that. But I'm saying he probably got so many calls of people being like, yo, I yo I was tripping too in the house. That's oh okay okay yeah, okay okay okay. Yo, okay. I ain't want to say nothing because I ain't want to sound y'all is tripping, bro. Yo, good look. You know what I'm saying? He got. Nice. I, I bet you he got so many of those calls because the pandemic. I was tweaking at one point. You know what I'm saying? From the pandemic, like not being able to do certain things, not seeing the homie, you know, whatever it might be. So I can definitely see how it can affect someone. So I'm pretty sure he got. Matter of fact, we're going to get to the. I'm, we getting to the Cowboys before. I mean, the Giants will leave because I, I didn't even talk. But just because it segues into something else we just talked about. The reason why I say it was dangerous, whatever, we're going to just keep it on. This is too real, right? Yes, it's sir. from a standpoint of white privilege, right? And uh, um, I'll explain why, what we're going to talk about. But, you know, skips, that's, you can only do that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can only have so much fucking nuts to be like, I'm going to say the craziest stuff. I'm going to say something super disrespectful to a person who brother just died from suicide. And ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. Ain't mom, ain't mom, ain't mom, ain't mom just died from cancer. Like, what you going to do to me? What you going to do to me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a popular white man. What you going to, because that's the, that's really the attitude. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. What yep. you going to do to me? And, and I just segue this and then you tell me how you know uh so of course with everything going on and, and i guess this is our like uh sports politics kind of moment but we get into the giants uh you know white privilege in sports and reason why it was such a you know kind of a time we know what's going on in the world right obviously and uh steve nash steve nash hiring becky's hammonds in the running for hiring it's been brought up again 
as far as white privilege and sports and how they go and picking coaches and things like that. So which what you, you know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? Like, I think this particular case, this particular case, I didn't know about Becky Hayman and Lenny. Because that's definitely white privilege. And yeah, I don't, don't want to um, even get too much on that because it's going to go against the woman like, in the fem- um, feminist movement or whatever, but... Uh, I think that's it's definitely paces. white privilege. I think it's the Pacers, and uh, it's between her and it's supposed to be her and Chauncey. Chauncey Miller. For a head coach. Yeah. <laughs> but now, nah, but Steve Nash, this particular case, I, I would say no. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to call, I'm, I'm not going to call um, white privilege for that. Because, but you know me, my, my, my intent is still up. And I had a reason for my intent to be up because we ain't hearing up nothing about it. prior to this coming up, prior before um Stephen A. Thirsty come out before today and be screaming and double down on it. Let me get on him too. But prior to him like saying that white privilege, we, we we heard no rumors about yo about KD one um Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? If that was the case, he, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking if you ask me, that would have been out there. Those rumors were out there. Stephen asked to Brooklyn, Kevin Durant gave him um his green light and he wants to Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? You would have heard that. Well, we gotta remember. The same time, this is KD and Kyrie, two people who don't want to talk to the media, so they ain't gonna probably leak. No you know stuff. what? You just sway me on live right now. They probably not gonna leak. That's me. all the way out of there. Uh, you one hundred percent right with that. Once, but still, on top of that, so but if KD and, and um, Kyrie, this is the wrong camp. This out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this out. So if that's the case, then then I'm, I'm riding with that, and then yeah, Steve Nash, that's who KD mm-hmm. and Kyrie wants. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who else do you want to bring? You want to bring your cousin? <laughs> you bring, your too. Bring, bring, bring on everybody. Uh-huh. So this particular case, I, I would say no, but it doesn't mean the NBA mm-hmm. and all major sports mm-hmm. doesn't have the documented history mm-hmm. about white privileges in, in sports as it pertains to head coaches between black and white coaches. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't mean that this... We had, a, like, like, we had like one of the lows that we've been in a long time with um, black head coaches in the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's like seven. Ninety-eight percent league in like what? Well, in, in like seven, like seven head coaches. Yeah, like get, like seven. Get, 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 get out of here, man. It's crazy. But, and then, so you can't sit up there and sit and run with that, yo. You can't scream out white privilege because it's gonna damper the, <laughs> it's gonna put a damper on what's really. No, it's not because honestly, there's only one person on TV, one black person is screaming out saying white privilege. Only one dickhead that's still double down and on it. That that's what's making it mad. I'm not, I'm not mad at him for coming out and saying white privilege because, like I said. The history mm-hmm. is, is there. It's mm-hmm. still going on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's, it's still there. Mm-hmm. But for him to keep on doubling down on it and keep on going hard, like, yo, come on, that's what's making me mad, yo. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's what's but like. But just because he um he said he was wrong, he was he, he reached on one situation, was wrong. Mm-hmm. Don't sit there and say, oh, I was going to fuck up. Everything. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, keep that pressure on because it's still going on. Mm-hmm. If, look at Toronto Lou. How many is, like, he, if Toronto Lou had, um, in his first coaching game, he fully became a head coach, won a championship. And then continued to go to the um the finals every single year. Mm-hmm. Got up out of there, and, and then was he back as an assistant? Mm-hmm. As an assistant, Rick Howard, championship, yeah. championship. championship, and he's back as an assistant coach. Won a championship, yeah. Nah, every single black coach who loses his job always got to go through the system category, or go to the system the way. You start to get back over, exactly. Get your lives back up. <laughs> not Rick Adelman. Yeah. Not Mike D'Antoni. Not Luke Walton. <laughs> Oh my God! It was it was a mistake. It was he it was a failure, and he still got a head coaching job. And look what's going on. So I'm like, like oh my hours. God! You know? Couple of hours. I will say, yeah, I will say, Luke Walton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So don't sit there and say it's gonna mess it up. Nah, it's not because one person made a reach and was wrong. Nah, nah, it's not. Okay, he was wrong. So what? It's still happening. So that that's my take on that, though, man. I uh, I say, like as far as we talk about Stephen, because he sparked the combo, right? I say he was right and wrong, right? Of course he's right because anything in America, any any little detail that's like has some form of race to do with it. And white privilege when we talk about black and white. Anything. And you know, when we talk about jobs, of course it comes down when we talk from the standpoint of the owners, who you gonna hire somebody you can joke and they understand your little corny jokes and things mm-hmm. like that and you can kick it and talk to it and y'all got the same lingo and things like that or you know somebody that look different from you you know what I'm saying so that's why I, of course there's always going to be a form of white privilege because these owners are always going to prefer somebody that's they, one of their comrades you know what I'm saying right. or one of their comrades son like a little boy mm-hmm. only reason why I ain't ready to beat the 
table with Steve Nash and even a Becky Hammond is because with Steve Nash, right, first of all, I think the Nets is trying to do a Steve Kerr. You know how sports do. Mm-hmm. One thing gets hot, everybody try to repeat it. So they, they, they trying to get a Steve Kerr, right? Shit, at least Steve Kerr was a GM. Yeah, sure. yeah so that's a fact. That is a, that is a fact. Uh, but I would have to assume KD and Kyrie signed off on it. And Steve Kerr is, for one, if I'm just being too real, they actually, I just realized they're not together. He got a new wife and a new baby and all that. But you know he had the, the, the he was messing with the sister for a while. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's in tune naturally with the black culture. Not to say that that should be the only white people in tune with them, even though when you talk about a black dominated sport, you should actually kind of be in tune with black people. But I just say that to say Steve Nash, is one of the people where I wouldn't beat the table because you know we rock with Steve Nash and players Absolutely. got love for Steve Nash and things like that. So that that's cool. Becky Hammond, that's why I say the same thing. I see that them Spurs players love her. And everything I've heard or seen players say, and even when they won the chip and summer league, I could tell after that they really love her. Like mm-hmm. they really, really mess with her. And I trust Pop that he wouldn't just do that on a female move for publicity stuff. Right, okay, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. And at the same time, you know, if I just want to be um, liberal, yeah, let's get a woman head coach. I'm for that. Let's 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 do it. I'm let's make that barrier. Too, though. Let's let's you know. I'm curious to see how that go too. Let's go. Um, but I got some great examples of white privilege right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. This is white privilege in sports. We won't really talk about it. Baseball and hockey fighting, right? And it being celebrated. And I think that's because, and chime in whenever you want. I think that's because white people, ooh, I put the whole mic, they're going to be mad at that. But if we just talking from a certain general standpoint, I think they feel it's okay to police. So they we sure can do. fight because uh-huh. we, we're policing. That's the mm-hmm. same form of policing, right? But basketball... Think about basketball, they was fighting when, oh, okay, we're going we gonna to rap in like five after this. and I'm getting, I'm getting giants in there. Basketball, you know, as a predominantly black, like, whoa, what y'all doing? Y'all can't Yo, do that. No, yeah, you know, know, it was right. cool when it, when it was diverse uh-huh. in basketball. That's when they was fighting. But once it became like that, you know what I'm saying? So that is some white privilege. You know what I'm saying? Alex Caruso. <laughs> The phenom and popularity of Alex Caruso is white privilege. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to be very clear. This is nothing towards him personally. He can't help how popular he is. That's not his fault. Mm -hmm. But there's no coincidence that because he's a white guy who dunks, he's if, if, if we have any statistic of his, he's a top 10 person posted on major sports outlets like Bleacher Reports and things like that. They constantly post him and anything of him because he's a white guy who dunks. Now go ask every real Laker fan how they feel about Alex Caruso. It's not going to match his popularity <laughs> at all. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's white privilege. Yeah, I'm keeping it real. Um, and matter of fact, he was like in the all-star votes running, if I remember correctly. Like, you know how you can like vote to be a starter? Mm-hmm. Like, he was in the running, if I remember correctly. That's how crazy his popularity got. But a lot of that because he gets a lot of attention because yada yada. And the last one for me is Tom Brady. This is why Tom Brady is a perfect example of white privilege because Tom Brady is a sports felon. He has committed <laughs> multiple sports <laughs> felonies, but we still say he the GOAT. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, yes. We would, if anybody, let's be real, any black player was ever caught cheating, the way Tom Brady's been caught cheating numerous times, you cannot be the GOAT. Oh if God. Michael, they ran Michael Jordan out of the league for gambling. gambling. Imagine if he cheated in basketball somehow. <laughs> yeah, bro. He wouldn't be the GOAT. Hell no, not at all. And so Tom Brady's done numerous things. And I, I have no problem with Tom Brady. Hey, what they say, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying or something like that. 
So I'm I'm for it, but I'm just talking from a public standpoint mm-hmm. that if that yeah. was somebody he's still a boy. After all that, he's still he's a boy. He got that nice smile uh-huh. and shit, and it's like shaving yeah. his mustache, no facial hair, still and all that. Yeah, man. And they cheat and be blatant. Oh like, my god, they cheat and be oh blatant. Oh my god, you can tell by the penalties. Like, <laughs> like they can get a million dollars in draft picks taken <laughs> away, first round draft picks taken away, man. I just I and you know, so it, it's it's no coincidence there that. We just gloss over Tom Brady and his felonies in the sports yeah. world. Richie, it, it keeps on going. Richie Incognito, yeah. Riley Cooper. You go go back to the eighties. Yeah. John McEnroe, like come on, John McEnroe. Yeah. Like, yo, John yeah. McEnroe. If y'all don't know who John McEnroe is, he's the he's the he's the white guy used to be berating the um the line judges. <laughs> that's what, yeah, him, yeah, exactly <laughs> him. That's John yeah. McEnroe, yo. I ain't gonna love till today. To this day, you yeah, got your hands all the love. And the game, oh, look, John Madro. Get the fuck out of here. All the love. Yeah, come on, man. All the love. And it's fine. I'm not hating on it, but I just yeah, know. Man. I just need that same thing. And Allen Iverson yeah. would not get none of that love. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, Mike Vick till his day probably. <laughs> it's, it's, Every it's, day. People still filming at the mouth whenever they just see his face. You know, we got people booing peace and locking arms and things like that, but we love cheers. That's Look at Big Ben. Big Ben has Big never, ben. he has, like, even when he was, like, going through it in the middle of it, he never had looked at that, mm-hmm. been looked upon as, like, oh, he's a creep or he's a knob. Nah. Big no. Ben. Hey, Big Ben. Ben. Yeah, he's so, the worst. We, we get it, you know. Yeah, All right, so before we get up out of here, what's up? What, what your Giants going to do this year? The Giants? What's up about the Giants right now? <laughs> like I said earlier, man. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. It's just, <laughs> no all season, none of that. And for a second year quarterback, that that's big. All that all season work is big. But you know me, mm-hmm. I like I like how Danny Dino looked last season. And then you, know, you don't get a nickname no more. Yeah, Danny, 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 Danny Dino. Dino. He he he, he, he got a nickname Dino. like his first couple games. He don't get a nickname. And then he did, did, what every, he did what every rookie in the NFL did. Like he had. A little oh slump. no, not 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 he, every rookie. He had, yeah, he went through a little slump. And not every rookie he finished off right. I don't know. I had Dak Prescott, so I don't I don't know what that's about. But, I don't really. Uh, honestly, but if if our if our old line developed and it's improved, we we should be all right. But I don't know what to expect. Maybe the Giants can go to a rocky start and then we have to see them for long. And get we have the first game again. We got Monday Night Football. I know that. I'm, like, if I'm making some wings. And going Yo, this, this this is how you know it's a bad matchup because I, I was like, oh man, we got money night football. Hold on, I know we live. Only thing I'm gonna say about the Giants is if Saquon Barkley don't have a big year this year, we gonna have to stop doing the whole Saquon hype too. You can't run without a lot of Yeah, Barry did it. I mean, it's Barry Sanders. Uh-huh. It's Barry Sanders and is uh, who? Who y'all? Who y'all first? I'm out. Out. Steelers. You got the Steelers. I ain't gonna lie. I, they I, defense, nah, they defense is good though. They I'm defense not, I'm not worried is good, about them going crazy. That might be a winnable game. I think that's a win. I, we don't know when Big Ben. Of course, we gonna win that game. We gonna come out strong. Yeah. Big Ben ain't playing what? Where is that? It don't show. Sure, no. Hey, it don't. No it games ain't. matter. Where it's close to bridge. No. Oh, okay. It's close to bridge. I ain't gonna. No, that's a. That's a good. But that's like, we gonna see game. though. I, I can't. I can't pinpoint what I, I'm. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. So give, give me like to like week three. We got to do that with all the teams. Yeah, that's, that's why I ain't say no other teams. That's what I feel like. I ain't, I ain't really trying to we go We got to see what's happening first. Ah. You can um, play that shit again and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and say the thing so we don't get sued. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, but what is it? This is not... This is... You don't own the rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't own the rights. Yeah, like the great yeah. Jimmy V said, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Poor oh, man murder, man. Oh man, it feels good. It feels good. What's AM? Got a game seven. Watch this square and say they want to walk in the first place. How we welcome them back? <laughs> and Messi's back too. Messi's back. That's why I want my Messi. What's that about, man? He, I, they probably got him by the balls and contracts because he went out. He went out. I thought it was a stripper scandal in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me see what you're doing. <laughs> 